Hey guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be our Arizona vlog. We just got to the airport and look at our sign. It's literally meant to be. We're going to Arizona with... Jeff, to venture. Follow me. Let's get it. Should I post part two? <laughs> so our flight's delayed. We're going to Atlanta. We have four hour layover, so we're trying to see if like, we're gonna do something there or not. I don't know, but we'll see. He's over here making content, like. I'm just working, man. I'm putting in that work. Just working. I'm about to post part home. two. Go like and subscribe. <laughs> Most people work from home, but we work from the airport. We're yeah. constantly traveling. Part. I'm an airbender. Oh. This is your first time with the airport. <laughs> All right, let's get it. We're gonna go get our rental car so that we can leave. We've been in the airports for like all day. We were delayed and it's been rough. So I just want to get out of here. Let's go. Good morning, everybody. So last night um, we went out. We filmed some interviews. Honestly, it was like this strip that we found. Like Old Town something. What are you doing? Anyways, Wally says I need to talk more for my vlogs. So yeah, we're about to go get the free breakfast because why would you ever like miss the free breakfast? And then we're gonna go on our hike. So yeah, let's go. Let's get it. So we're about to climb. Well, we're about to hike Camelback Mountain. We got lots of water. It is, I think, 105 degrees. It's beautiful so far. And we're about to push ourselves to the limit, get to the top of the mountain because you know what? The climb is, is the best part. I want to let, let everybody know that we're all climbing our own mountains when it comes to your life, the obstacles in your life. Some people are already at the top, some people are on the journey, just like us right now. We're on the journey, we're working we our way started. to the top. Everybody's on their own time, so don't compare yourself to other people. Just enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey to the top of the mountain. It might take long, it might be treacherous, but you know what, it's all worth it for that beautiful view. Yes, sir. Sometimes you even get to the top and you're like, damn, all that? For what? We're climbing the Empire State Building. That's what he said. It doesn't matter how, how long it takes to climb the mountain, because everyone's at their own pace and at their own time. It's okay to stop sometimes in the shade. You'll get there eventually and you'll do it at your own pace. Don't die along the way. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's it. Keep hydrated. Yeah. Well, they put, you want to put the camera in the back? Or? Danger. Danger. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, wow. Let's see. This is a danger. Checkpoint. So, we didn't make it. <laughs> I feel like it sounded so fake. I was like, checkpoint. I'm going to be real with you guys. We didn't make it to the top. You know, sometimes you got to just come back down when it gets too hard and then go back up tomorrow. But we had an excessive heat warning. So. <laughs> we kind of just um, decided to come down. It was it's like 110 degrees. It's so too hot to be going all the way up there. But we got like halfway. Can I get two soul tacos and then two steak? Uh, got a miss? Yeah, of course. Good morning. <laughs> Cheers. Today we have our expo, which is literally why we're actually here in Arizona. We were invited to do interviews at the Arizona Barber Expo. Apparently it's gonna be like 3,000 people. We'll see for ourselves, I don't know. We're about to go head out, I'm gonna grab a matcha, of course, get your matcha for the day, and then head to the expo. Let's get it. They just jealous, that's your kind. Women hold doors too. So we got our matcha, matcha cha cha. So I decided we're gonna film a beer video. Yeah. He got me big brrr. First task is make a friend. Today we are at the Arizona Barber Expo and we are going to be asking women if they would prefer beards or no beards because a lot of you men out there probably want to know. Keep watching, stay tuned to see what women really want. Beard or no beard? Beard. Why? It just does so much to a man's face. I don't know, I like to touch it. It's more manly. I like the way it feels. If it's like soft or? I like the way it feels. 
Intimately. Intimately? Like down there? So you prefer beards over no beards? Definitely. Why? They look like they got some money and they're mature. So if he has no beard, you're not going for him? Absolutely not. He naked. <laughs> He's naked. Do you ever date a guy with no beard? No. So if he had no beard, would you still date him? I mean... No. <laughs> so it's an absolute like goodbye. I'm I mean I'll like hang out. Maybe go to dinner, be nice, be my friend. She knows, she knows I'm lying, yeah, no. So you wouldn't date a guy that has no beard? I would. Ain't nothing wrong with no beard if especially if you can't fucking grow it out. Like it's okay. So what if he has no facial hair? That's cool too, I guess. But you prefer a beard. Yeah. I like him grown. So would you date a guy with no beard? No. I don't let my man shave like ever. No beard. Why not? I don't mess with facial hair. Did your ex have facial hair? <laughs> He did. He had like a little ant for real. It just looks better, like, especially when you have it all lined up and fresh, like, it, you just look good. And we want to thank the Arizona Barber Expo so much for having us to do media to film interviews. So let's check it out.